back. The shuttle is going to stay docked here until further notice. I'm not ready to part company yet. It sounds like you have a lot of traveling to do. So do I. I'm going with you. The Sith have taken a particular interest in you, and you could use an extra blaster. I've been meaning to leave Duxon to look for other Mandalorian clans anyway. I don't have it in me. It's a matter of self-interest. The Sith aren't known for sharing power. If the Jedi Order is destroyed for good, it's inevitable that the Sith will dominate the Republic. And then my people will be eradicated or enslaved. Helping your cause is a matter of necessity. Mandalorians helped Exar Kun during his war. We know firsthand how we'd fare in the service of their like. But that's enough for now. We'll have time to talk later. The Ebon Hawk is patched up and ready to go. When you're ready to depart, we can ask the guide here to take us back to the ship. I don't think you'll be able to return to Isis anytime soon. General Vaklu has a great deal of power. Even a Jedi couldn't defeat an entire army alone. You have fought more battles on Isis. You are truly formidable. You have fought more battles on Isis. Most of the recruits are scouting the perimeter. If they failed Mandalore again, there will be dire consequences. Most of the recruits... Mandalore will gather the scattered clan. We... I hear you handled Isis adequately. Mandalore has left me in charge until he has finished his journey to reunite the clans. If there is any change planet side, I'll send you a message. Ready to serve. Oh, stupid primitive mechanism. Oh, stupid primitive mechanism. Something you need. I hear you handled Isis adequately. Mandalore has left me in charge until he has finished his journey to reunite the clans. If there... After the ambush, Kelvin's been pushing to get the entire base 100% operational. So, I have work I gotta do. on standby. In the meantime, stay alert for any unwelcome visitors. As you command, Mandalore. Our sensors picked up three ships landing in this area. If any of the... Mandalore, quartermaster Kex on duty. What do you need? At ease, Kex. Just checking the camp. Young Kex here got a battlefield promotion when his predecessor got quartered by a beam splitter. Whatever this visitor needs, Kex, you make sure he has access to it, provided he can pay for it. Of course, Mandalore. Really? Is that true, Kex? Do you have some issues with our guest? I do, Mandalore. I don't trust him. So you don't think our guest should be wandering around free, is that it? No, Mandalore, I do not. The stranger may be a spy for Onderon or the Republic. So you don't trust my judgment? Are there any other orders of mine you want to question? No, 
No, of course not, Mandalore. You are the one we follow without question. Then you're an idiot, Kax. But you're right not to trust our guest here. I haven't made up my mind about him yet, either. But until then, Kax, you do what I say. And my orders are to let our guest have access to our supplies. Got it? Of course, Mandalore. Without question. fought against the Mandalorians in the war. I was part of the war effort, yes. I worked as a technician, though. But you fought on the front lines. To a Mandalorian, there is honor in that. I could do without your Mandalorian honor. I saw the results of your honor. The absolute destruction your warriors brought. And look at them now. Mandalorians are little better than mercenary thugs. And what's honor to someone like that? All they care about are credits. If I were you, I'd pick your words more carefully. You fought for no cause other than to spread suffering and pain to the people you conquered. Maybe that's what it looked like to you, but that isn't why we fought. We fought for honor and glory in the heat of battle. You did nothing but murder innocents. The Republic took us too lightly. We wanted to face the full force of their army. We had to goad them to fight. That's exactly what I'm talking about. If you ask me, you Mandalorians just got what you deserved at Malakor. Defeat is part of a warrior's life. We will recover, stronger than before. Doesn't it even bother you that your people were almost destroyed? Or do lives have no meaning to you? People die in war. Well, I'm glad to have you guarding my back. Fine by me. General, what is it? Traveling with the Mandalorians. It brings back too many memories. Don't worry about me. I won't cause any problems. But if Mandalore steps out of line, I'll put him out the airlock. You're too trusting, General. Was there something you wanted me for? That old thing? I built him when I was a kid. Been following me around for years now, despite what I've done to try and chase him off. Hey, just kidding. I'm happy to have you around. I would, but then I wouldn't be the only one with a floating sphere following him around, and I kind of like that. It's not that bad. I guess you'd know. You've always got someone following you around. He helps me out with repairs. I outfitted him with a cutting laser and some other tools for delicate modifications. He's also good for singeing the pens of annoying techs. I've been thinking about doing some other work on him, but I barely have time. Too busy fixing up the ship. Something else I can help you with? Yes, General? Query. Is there someone that you need killed, Master? Statement. Query. Indeed, I was unaware that the Nava computer was locked. Statement. Yes, I heard it was voice printed. Most curious. Statement. I suppose so, Master. But I would need to know who voice locked it. And regrettably, I do not have that knowledge. It seems to me that we will have to accept the T3's astrogation abilities for the time being. It is a very loyal and dependable droid for its class. Statement. Statement. <sighs> Master, that is a question that has an extremely complicated answer. 
You see, I do not believe my master knew who she was most of the time, which led to some confusing situations that could have otherwise been avoided. Clarification. Suffice to say that my master had her ups and downs and, in my opinion, traveled from a high point in her life to a low point and then back again to her true potential. She could be a merciless, efficient killer when the need arose. It really made my behavior core glow. And even as a meat bag, my master still had some remarkably efficient droid-like qualities which I admired. She too suffered memory problems, as I did. Statement. Oh yes, master. As indicated upon my reassembly, my central control cluster is damaged, making recalling my previously stored assassination protocols difficult. I hope that over time I shall eventually reach the status and skill I possessed before I was damaged. Recollection. The last thing I remember is having my core wiped from the last five years. I believe my master was responsible. Answer. Even with my memory impairment, I recall that my master was about to embark on a dangerous journey. Conjecture. I believe there was something about my master's destination that she did not wish me to know. Answer. I am somewhat disappointed that my master did not choose to take me along, of course. Wherever my master traveled, destruction and death were assured. Speculation. But I suspect I was not the only one left behind. So there is some satisfaction that the disrespect was spread through the rest of her whiny, simpering, meatbag allies. Statement. Oh, yes. My master had quite the collection of tortured individuals that seemed unable to confront their basic personality conflicts. Let me cite some specific examples. Mockery. Oh, master! I do not trust you! I cannot trust you or anyone ever again! Conclusion. Such pheromone-driven human responses never cease to decrease the charge in my capacitors and make me wish I could press a blaster pistol to my behavior core and pull the trigger. I am pleased that this does not seem to be the case with your current entourage. Statement. Yes, well, enough of that painful stroll through what remains of my memories. Was there something else you wish to know? Statement. Statement. Master, before you go, I had a question for you. Statement. Yes, Master. My, I must confess, I enjoy it when you are so authoritative and dismissive toward me. It bodes well for your treatment of our enemies. <laughs> Yes? I do not think you are ready for further instruction. Yes? That is something we will leave until we possess a lightsaber. Yes. That is something we will leave until we possess a lightsaber. Yes. Very well. If you travel with us, Blinded One, then you shall work for your passage on this vessel. Your lightsaber, give it to me. I shall die before it passes from my hands. Your lightsaber, give it to me. The crystal I took from the condensed mist sunk at... It is adequate. You are young, your energy for such things surpasses mine, and your skill is enough that you may teach him the basics of the weapon. There is much that he has forgotten. There's only so much I can teach him. That fact did not escape me. 
now. Try to kill her with a single blade. Use no other force technique, no items, merely the blade. Because you may not always have your right hand, now do it. This is no Ichani etiquette ritual. Do not ask her. Attack her! Two weapons, one in each hand. Again, no items, no force powers. Let us see what you can do when your hands and mind are divided. No force techniques other than weapon skill. Get in place from you. Let the force fill the cracks in your spirit. <laughs> Divest yourself of your weapons. You, blinded one, you will keep yours. Let us see what you can do when you have no weapons left to you. Now, attack her. It is enough. There is nothing more for me to teach you. You know as much of battle as I. something else you needed. I am Mandalore, leader of the Mandalorians. I will help you fight your battles and plan your strategy. But I will not be your errand boy. Find some of the lackey to do your bidding. Now is there something else you needed? I thought that the Force would be enough of a weapon for a Jedi like yourself. Need a little something extra to work up your courage in a fight? Right. That makes sense. I'm sure the others are just too embarrassed to ask for themselves, so they sent you in their place. We wouldn't want to let them down. Here. And don't get too attached to them. I only have time to make so many. Now is there something else you needed? I've fought countless battles. Ones most didn't walk away from. The wounds add up. And even the implants are all that keep me going sometimes. I may have been stronger in my youth, and stupider, but now I've got to rely more on my armor, my weapons, and my cunning. Now is there something else you needed? Here you go, but don't get too attached to them. I only have time to make so many. Now is there something else you needed? Already gave you my last one. Go easy on them. Even a strong warrior can only take so much. Now is there something else you needed? Mm-hmm. 
I want to have a word with you. I wanted to make sure that we have some things clear. Right now, we both seek the same goals. Whatever our reasons may be, the Sith must be stopped. If they destroy the Jedi, the Republic will fall and my people will be eradicated or enslaved. To survive, I'll help you. But as Mandalore, I have another duty. The unification of the clans. After our defeat at Malachor, the survivors spread across the Outer Rim, many taking up work as mercenaries, or worse. But they cannot have fallen so far that they will not recognize a new Mandalore has been chosen. One who will restore our people to glory. I'll fight beside you, but I'm warning you, don't get in my way. I'm not asking for help. I'm just asking you to let me do this. Cross me, and I might have to reevaluate our arrangements. Of course it's a threat. Get in my way, it'll be something more. After the Sith are dealt with, you can turn your attention to us. Or maybe we can forge an alliance of our own. Our next battle need not be fought against your Republic. Consider what I've said. Now is there something else you needed? The Republic thinks my people are dead. Scattered. They are wrong. You should have destroyed us when you had the chance. As long as one Mandalorian lives, we will survive. Our honor, fortunes, and lives revolve around battle. From our earliest history, this has been our way, as it will be always. Our history and our ways are something we shield from outsiders. Only on the battlefield can you truly learn of someone. There are, but those are luxuries. Luxuries that were paid for by the blood of our warriors, alive and dead. The Mandalorian clans will be united. Then we will take back our place in the galaxy. But we live in times of action, and I've said enough for now. We can speak of this again later. Now is there something else you needed? We have suffered defeats before, but none like our defeat at Malachor. Our spirit may have faded. But it hasn't died. It will burn bright again, like a star in the heavens. The end of the Mandalorian Wars was something new and unknown to us. Revan fought us like a true warrior and defeated us on our own terms. Revan embodied our philosophy and showed us our own weaknesses. Then she exploited them. It was a painful lesson. With Mandalore dead, our weapons taken and our pride destroyed, many lost their way. But I will change that. Only Mandalore can command the clans. There was no new Mandalore for many years. I can tell you want to know more, but we can talk more later about this. Now is there something else you needed? Being Mandalore is the greatest honor for our people. Mandalore's helmet is passed from one leader to the next. When Revan executed Mandalore before our eyes, she cast Mandalore's helmet away, denied it to us. She took Mandalore's helmet and left with it. If she hadn't done that, a new Mandalore would have been chosen that day. But without leadership and direction, the clans scattered, fell apart. It isn't just any helmet. It means more to us than your lightsaber does to you. While it wouldn't be unheard of for a new helmet to be created, it was determined to find the real thing. Claiming the helmet is a traditional way for the new Mandalore to be chosen. Even in defeat, we held on to our traditions. During the Jedi Civil War, I met and traveled with Revan. I was there when she defeated Darth Malak and traveled with her afterwards. Eventually, she told me where she had taken the helmet. She set me upon this path. We can talk about Revan and other things later if you like. You know enough for now. Now is there something else you needed? Something up? All right. 